This is what the Lake District should look like. This is what it does look like. Perfect conditions for a bracing outing with a pack of hounds. Not. I'm out with the Blencathra foxhounds, fell hunting within the law on foot in the Northern Lake District. Today, the weather is going to beat us. There is no scent and the hounds are more interested in bones than hunting. This time last year we weren't even out. We weren't, uh, the conditions were so bad that uh, we just uh, were confined to kennels. So this is our first taste of winter. Uh, we decided to give it a go. The snow's come in and we're just going to be on a restricted um, uh, activity day. And with all the sheep in the, in the fields, we're, uh, with the tips, we are very reluctant to um, disturb them and cause any uh, anxiety for the farming community so we need to just be careful about our activity days and uh, what uh, what goes on. We head back to the village of Caldbeck where the father of hunting John Peel is buried. He's the one from the old hunting song Do you ken John Peel and his coat so it's all right I won't sing the whole thing. The fox then was classed as vermin as it is today but the uh, farmers uh, it was conditional upon their um, their rents that um, they, uh, they had to keep vermin down and of course John Peel provided uh, a great service in that respect. Why was he so famous apart from, apart from the song? I think it's fair to say that the song immortalised him and in his own lifetime he would not have uh, received the fame that he has subsequently done following Woodcock Graves' um, penning of uh, the King John Peel. The Blencathra huntsman Barry Todd Hunter is one of the very few to have held the post since the days of John Peel. This is my 24th season as huntsman of Blencathra and I whipped in for 15 seasons prior to that, so a bit of a fixture really. Why is it important to you to see Repeal? It's been my life and for the last seven years to have to endure the well, quite farcical way we have to operate now um, is not only insulting to the people of our area and the farmers, but it's very insulting to our hounds, or to my hounds, I should say, uh, to have to clat on the way that we are when the majority of the farming population and a, a tremendous amount of the village and valley people would love to see us going back to what we've been doing for hundreds of years. I mean, it wasn't broken, so I try and mend it and stop it, you know, it was working perfectly well. These fells have bred an extraordinary tradition of hunting that the politicians in London have failed to stamp out. People are finding it difficult. We're still in a holding pattern. Repeal is very much needed. Our hardworking huntsmen are really feeling the strain. They're being harassed. They're having allegations made against them and they're the exact reason we need repeal. So we have to keep pushing. It's so important. So what we're doing is working behind the scenes. We're still speaking to MPs. We're making sure that everyone understands the case for repeal which is compelling and when the time comes the coalition government has said that they will revisit this issue and we trust that they will. This really is a, is a matter of trust between the countryside and the government. The Countryside Alliance is also encouraging us all to burn off a bit of that Christmas excess by going out on Boxing Day. It's the best thing for it. You will never see a better display of Britishness than a Boxing Day meet. You've got the hounds which are the friendliest beasts you'll meet. You've got the hunts who will be so welcoming of you. Uh, the pageantry itself just looks beautiful. It's just, it just looks amazing. And also if you're full of turkey and there are fights breaking out in your household then please just get, get your boots on and get out there and support them and get some fresh air. If you want to know where your local meat is, get in touch with your local Countryside Alliance rep. Visit www.countryside-alliance.org.uk